What's up guys, Admiral Styles here. In today's video I'm flying a Galaxy class and we're playing with the BC Remastered version 1.2 beta. So in this battle we're fighting two Herogen Venetic Dreadnoughts. They're supposed to be Dreadnoughts but they're a few decades behind the Starfleet equ equivalent which would be the Galaxy class. But alright, let's see how this turns out. I feel like if you put their uh, their hit points, shields, and hull together, it would probably be equal to the Galaxy class. But let's see. Let's see how this goes. Or perhaps not. Perhaps it's just that our firepower output makes it seem like it's an even match. Ah, oh, shoot, all of those torpedoes missing. What a waste. But alright, looks like we disable two of their forward torpedo launchers and their impulse engines are pretty, uh, well, they're pretty damaged, so it's going to slow down their ship, which is great. However, they seem to be really maneuverable still, so it's going to be hard to keep them where we want to keep them. Ah, they're targeting our aft torpedoes. I'm going to see if I can rotate and uh, keep our aft, sh aft shield protected. Because we need those after torpedoes. Without them, we will not win. Alright, nice. We've begun damaging their sensor array, but the damage is, is insignificant. It's like it's a bit deep in their hull. So it's going to be protected by. Oh, shoot, what happened? Alright, must have been that glitch we experienced in a previous video where it just detonated. I'm just going to say that their ship probably has. It's a major design flaw that causes the warp core to breach. If there's some some sort of uh, damage that causes a cascade of sorts, yeah, I'm I'm making that canon. <laughs> the Venetic has a defect that causes the ship to explode if it takes a certain amount of damage in certain parts of the ship. All right, so for the second one, I'm not gonna target specific subsystems just to avoid that. I feel like that damage usually happens when you target the forward part of the ship or the direct aft by the impulse engines. Alright, let's see if we can quickly destroy this ship. Uh, I'm gonna have to be careful here. As our shields are getting pretty weak, any damage they inflict on us would be exponentially greater than with the shields up. I almost feel like oh, the Galaxy class in this mod has very strong shields, but weak hull. Which sounds about right. I'm just admiring the, the work on that uh, Herogen Venetic. It's actually really well done. Alright, nice. I was hoping to save our torpedoes for their weaker shields, but we might as well just fire whatever we have to weaken their shields as they are since it's a bit difficult to control, you know, how we are positioned relative to their ship since they do turn pretty quickly. I like how almost the nacelles in that uh, Herogen ship almost protect the core components, except for the ventral and dorsal. But their port and starboard is pretty well protected. Alright, we've lost about a third of our phasers. They're doing a great job at disabling our weapons. But we still have full torpedoes, so I think we're gonna win this one. But seeing how much damage we're taking, I believe we would have lost this fight if the first Herogen did not explode prematurely. Alright, hopefully our after torpedo spread is enough to destroy them. Alright, it wasn't, but our forward torpedoes are ready. Ah, very nice. Alright, so the second one died fair and square. No 
No surprise detonations. Alright, let's do the reverse battle and see how well I do against the Galaxy class. Okay, here we are. We're fighting in the Basin Rift. The, uh... The one where we saw in Star Trek Nemesis, the Scimitar wreck the Valdor. Disable the other one and disable the Enterprise. Damn, I really wish we had seen that huge battle with uh, the Federation Task Force that was sent to help the Enterprise E versus the Scimitar. That would have been so cool. Alright, I feel like this is going to be really quick. <laughs> We've already inflicted a lot of damage on their shields, and our wingman still hasn't had any major hull damage. Alright, I think I'm going to alternate between their forward and aft torpedoes. I love how detailed this... Uh, the system's background is. And by system, I mean when you select maps to do uh, battles in in Star Trek Bridge Commander, uh, each solar system has like its own background, uh, nebula, background effects. Well, this one looks really well done and it's cool. I've always loved the green color. Although, scientifically, I have to wonder what gas is green in color. Alright, our wingman is starting to take some damage, but the galaxy class is starting to go down pretty quickly, so I don't think it'll matter what damage the galaxy class does to our wingman. It's gonna go down before we lose our wingman. Nice. And there she goes. Galaxy class down. Alright guys, that'll be it for this video, hope you enjoyed it. If you did, thumbs up and subscribe. If you have any battle requests, drop it in the comment section. If there's any games you would like to see me play, also drop it in the comment section. Alright guys, I'll see you in the next video. Admiral Styles out.